everyone, welcome to episode 6 of my Crafty Wonderland series. Really quickly, I just wanted to mention that I wasn't going to do any more of these wood projects, but if they get them back in stock, then I might at least throw in one more video after this. This is technically my last video. If they get any more of these wood creations back in stock that I wanted to do for my series, then I'll at least throw one of these in. There could be one more video after this. So the end of August, if there's no more Crafty Wonderland videos, then you'll know that my series is officially ended. Just a few of the items that I used. Not everything. I didn't pull everything. Some of the items I couldn't find right now. So it's kind of a it's kind of a hot mess. So this is by Julia Vance Designs. And this is the stamp set that I used. I used the to and from and then best gift ever. And then this is a stamp set called Tags and Trimmings from Stampin' Up. I used the word enjoy. So that's what this stamp set looks like. It's a really fun stamp. And this stamp has actually been discontinued, but I know that you can still find it on eBay for a good price. So this is a Stampin' Up die. It's called Mini Mittens. And here's the number if you would like to look for it. It is on clearance right now. It's still available. It comes with all these dies here. Now these ones here emboss. Really, really cute on the mitten when it's done. So that's what it comes with. This die here, the stocking, it's like a little treat holder and stocking die. This one is also on clearance on Stampin' Up! website. I will leave the link to both of these dies in the description box below. So first of all, I wanted to try something different. This is a rosette, and then I just wanted to have some crepe paper on the end of it. And I'm not sure what I think of it, but um, I just still wanted to share it with you guys anyways. Maybe if I would have added something around here to kind of cover up the, the difference between the paper and the crepe paper. So I just kind of, as you can see, I just snipped around the edges just to get that crepe paper look on the edges there of the rosette. When I added a few dies here in the center, this says Merry Christmas and Believe. There's that swirl die, and then just some of the holly berries over here in the hollies. That's how this one turned out. Then next I decided to try to make some little note cards. So these just open up and you can leave a little message inside. They're really simple. Just add some glitter paper on top of there. And this one, as you can see, there's um, one that is embossed. But it also embossed the bottom of the mitten as well. So really fun. And then it just opens up. And then this one as well. Just added some ribbon and a snowflake with some bling on the bottom. Then this one again opens up. So I just made a few little note cards there. So this one is a gift card holder and it was a lot of fun to create. I added some of the Jillian Vance Design Snowflakes. This says, Tis the Season. I added two different colors of the bow here and then some bling in the center. And this little mitten here is holding this in place. So you just open it like so. And then there is the gift card. Just kind of holds just is held inside like that and then I put Mary here and then it just folds back in like so so there's that one and then next I made a postcard and it's not really a postcard it's just kind of you could just put it inside a gift or on top of a gift and then wrap it just something like that it's a little shaker element inside and I don't know if you can see it, but I used some paper that has some gold in there and then some red and green sequins. And then it just kind of has a shaking element. Then I cut out with some of my dies. It says Merry and Bright, Christmas, Holidays, Believe, Seasons, Greetings, and Peace, Love, and Joy. And then on top I added the positive word, which is Believe. And then I added a heart and a star here. And then on top I added a bow. This is a Jillian Vance Designs bow. I just added um, one extra piece here in the center, and so there is that. I just love how you can kind of see the shaker behind all the different words in the background on this little postcard, and then on the back I left plenty of room for a message, and then it says, "'Tis the season." 
And then if I wanted to, I could punch a hole here and add a tag and have it hanging down from something as well. But just had a lot of fun creating this. And of course shakers are always fun. And there's, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like little pops of gold in there from the paper that I have behind it. So there's that. And the last thing I have to share with you is another gift card holder. A little mitten here. It says best gift ever. And then you can write to and from on the little tag. It opens up like this. And then the gift card is inside here. And then inside it says enjoy and it kind of moves. The gift card kind of pops up. And I like that element. Kind of just pops up like that. So I have the gift card here and then it says enjoy. So really, really fun. I love this idea. I know this has been this idea has been around for a while, but I have never tried it before. I hope you've enjoyed the series. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye!